Have you ever wondered whether numbers are actually real? Because um, mathematicians have, they've, they've worried about this quite a bit, especially around the 1900s. Um, there was a few decades there where mathematicians got extremely worried that actually the entire subject was completely made up nonsense. Um, and so to try and resolve it, some mathematicians, Bertrand Russell um, being a notable one, who really took some time out to try and carefully define every possible mathematical concept, like the number two, for instance. Now, how might you define the number two? It is quite difficult because of course, I know what two means, you know what two means, two objects, two pizzas, two cats, right? But you sort of need the pizzas and the cats there to be able to explain what, what two-ness means. But two-ness surely should exist outside of human thought. This isn't just something that we've constructed in our minds, right? You don't need a human to see something for, for, for there to be two of it. And so Bertrand Russell, he came up with an idea. He was like, what if you had a list of pairs of objects, right? You could sort of extract what Tunis meant from that list, but you, you've got to include objects that we don't necessarily know about. So what if you had a list of all possible lists of all possible pairs of objects? That, that he said, that is how you should define Tunis. And um, quite a few people's brains exploded, but some other people were uh, were not happy with this because they were like, well, hang on a second. Married couples, right? You've got, you've got pairs of people there. Um, but what about if you have pairs of married couples? Should that should that be in the list? And then and then you've got this list of all lists of all possible pairs of objects. What about if you've got two of those lists? Is that in the list? It just gets a bit... Anyway, then maths broke and we haven't really recovered. <laughs> True story. <laughs> to be continued, should we say?